Welcome back. Here's a quick video on a few things to know when looking at lithium stocks. So lithium makes up 2% of the battery, but the growth for lithium needed is a lot more than the other metals in a battery in the coming years. So lithium only makes up 2% of the battery, then you've got nickel, graphite, but lithium is a necessary thing, and that's why you would want to look at a stock with lithium. So there's lithium carbonate and there's lithium hydroxide. The one that's going to grow the most is lithium hydroxide. The reason for that is the batteries want to move to the 811, that means 8 parts nickel, 1 part cobalt, 1 part manganese, and the best lithium to work with this battery is the lithium hydroxide. So the lithium carbonate is said not to work well and will cause faster battery degradation. So that's why the lithium hydroxide is the one to look out for. And currently, the best method to get lithium hydroxide is from lithium rock mining. So you can do it from the lithium uh, salt lake mining, but this does take, well, you get the point, lithium lake mining, where they put it in the evaporation pond. You can make hydroxide, but it costs more than if you just did it from the rock. So you might be looking for uh, spudgermine or rock miners in lithium. And then these guys, although the lithium carbonate is going to be necessary, but the lithium hydroxide is going to have the most growth. So remember hydroxide for high, um, what we, high quality batteries that are going to last longer. So, and then you have DLE, which is direct, direct lithium extraction. So instead of pumping the water, I'll go to this picture. Sorry, not this picture. So we have here, you might pump the water into the lake, let the sun beat down on the lake for two years, evaporate it so you get the right stuff, then process it. Or they have direct lithium extraction, which is the next, seem to be the next big thing, where they pump it out, do an ion exchange, leaves you with the lithium concentrate. So this takes like three hours, as they say here, three hours. Instead of you pumped in the lake, that's going to be two years. So they pump it in here, do it here, process it, lithium carbonate plant, lithium hydroxide plant, and then you ship it away. So no more waiting two years, as they believe. they've. No one's doing this commercially scaled yet, but Lilac Solutions, they have done pilot plants, and it is said to be working at a high... Uh, where is the percentage of lithium? I think it's 99%. So, leave it at that. I'm yet to find out if this direct lithium extraction uh, will make it cheaper to do brine hydroxide, or it will still be cheaper uh, for to do the hard rock to get lithium. But we do know that uh, Tesla, they talk about lithium clay mining, but that's what they're talking about. What they're actually doing is going with Piedmont, which is hard rock lithium mining uh, to get the hydroxide. So that they got a big deal with Piedmont, who was a hard rock lithium thing. So that's just a few things to know. Hydroxides are probably the one you want to go with. Because it's going to be greater demand. Because these new batteries, you want a car that's going to go, the battery's going to last 20 years instead of 10 or less and that will require the hydroxide. So just remember hydroxide for high quality batteries. Um, and yeah, that's all I can say, and just look out for the brines, the direct lithium extraction. And so there's a lot of lithium companies, but you just need to compare the ones, uh, what they have. There's other things like, if they're in America, it might be around in Argentina, how far they got to transport the stuff, all those sort of things and I'm looking for the back next big thing being also I'll point you to this stuff this company Vulcan Energy uh, so they're gonna use the heat out of the brine 165 degrees to create power to process the plants so they're gonna use the brine do the lithium extraction like I said direct lithium extraction so you're not putting into a salt lake do all this and that's Vulcan Energy it's called Geothermal Brines, and Gina Reinhardt, who's a pretty 
rich person has put a lot of money into this company. So I hope that helps you out a tiny bit. But don't take my word for it. You have to study these things. But I'm definitely going to look out for a small company. Let's grow, grow into a big one. I've got a few in mind. We all know Vonix. I'm looking for a company that was Novonix around here. And then you remember this guy called Gally who talks about Tesla on YouTube. Talked about it and it shot up. So I'm looking for a company it's just like this. They've got a big thing happening. You're risking a thousand dollars to make ten thousand dollars. That's me. So of course you're not gonna put your whole portfolio, you might put ten percent of your portfolio into something. The more confident you are and the more you're gonna put in. So I've got a few to list and like and subscribe and I'm going to bring you some good ideas on EV stocks stocks that are going trending towards the battery uh, revolution is going to happen so all the petrol uh, is going to go down and the battery sector is going to go up obviously take in mind Novonix to make the synthetic graphite uses petroleum coke a byproduct of petrol but they got other things, so yeah. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.